In this lesson, we're going to uh, talk about how to find the area of a polygon using determinants. Okay, So here's the theorem, basically. Uh, if you have a polygon defined by, the vertice, by a general set of vertices, and if you, if you go counterclockwise around the perimeter of that polygon, then you can figure out the area. Uh, by applying this formula that you see there. Okay. So let me, I want to demonstrate this uh, using the example here. Okay. So let's say, okay, let me go ahead and what I'm going to do is plot these points just to give you a visual. So let's see. All right. So let's say we have. Let's say this is one here, and over here we have five, and then we have one here, and four. Okay. So let's say this is x, this is y. Okay. So for the first uh, point, we have one, two. Okay, so I need to get the value of two here. So let's put one two here uh, the other point is five two okay it's gonna be here uh, then we have six and four so I need a six six and four and two and four Okay, so now let's connect these. Okay, so there's our uh, polygon. Okay, so we want to find the area of this. Okay, so I'm going to label these uh, going counterclockwise. So I'm going to call this node 1. This will be node 2, node 3, and node 4. So we're going to go this way around. Okay. Okay, so let's write those out. So node one, node one was at one, two. Node two is five, two. Oops. Node three is uh, six, four. And then finally, uh, let's see, node, f yeah, node four, sorry, node four is going to be uh, two four. Okay, so we have node one, node two, node three, node four. Okay, so the area then, so applying our theorem, the area is going to be, so it's going to be one half. And we're going to take, for each node, we're going to have a, uh, a matrix, okay? And then we're going to use the, we're going to calculate the determinant of each of those. So the first one, we have one, two, okay? So, and then the next one, um, for the next vector, we have five, two. Okay. And then going on to the second one, okay? We five two, and then we put six four, okay, in the second column, okay, and then going to the next one, we're gonna get uh, six four and two four, okay, and then finally we get two four, and then back to the original, back to the first node. Okay. All right. So we have, okay. So again, okay. Just to clarify things here, this is coming from node one. It's from node two. This is from node two. This is from, from node three. It's 
node 3, node 4, node 4, and then back to node 1. Okay, so now we just need to find the determinants of these. Okay, so we're going to get, um, so let's see. Okay, so we're going to get the area is going to be one half for the first one. Okay, the determinant of the first matrix. Okay, it's going to give you minus eight. Put a bracket here. Okay. Okay, the second one, we got, right, so the first one was 2 minus 10. That's going to give us negative 8. Next one's going to be 20 minus uh, 12. That's going to give us 8. The third one, we have 24 minus uh, 8. So that's going to give us 16. Okay, and then we have 4 minus 4, which is 0. Okay. Again, this is coming from, right, so you're taking the determinant each one of these. So this is giving us minus 8, this is giving us 8, this is giving us 16, and this is giving us 0. Okay. Okay, so then we just have to simplify this. So the area is going to be 1 half times 16, which is going to give us 8. And this is going to be unit squared. Okay. So this formula that you see up here, it can be applied for any for any polygon. Okay, with with finite vertices, with a finite number of vertices. Okay. Um, so this is another uh, nice application of determinants.